listen clearly if you want to live and be safe at all times stay indoors stay in the house you can buy yourself some video games you can use your phone be on Facebook or YouTube or any other social media site you can read comic books you can read novels you can read manga you can watch anime you can do things with your family inside the house if you don't have a big family just be happy reading the Bible or watching television shows watching streaming services if you have family in your house and you don't get along with the people there stay in your room buy a small refrigerator have food in there buy a portable little toilet that's right a portable toilet and then use the toilet in your room because maybe there's too many people in the house occupying the regular toilet. After you're finished doing your thing with the portable toilet, run in the bathroom real quick, empty it, clean it, bring it back into your room. What I'm trying to really say is the world, a lot of the people inside of the world are very dangerous. Not all, but a lot. A lot of them are very, very dangerous. We see the news every day. We know what's going on in these communities. It is a very dangerous place. Not all communities is dangerous. Not all places throughout the whole entire country and throughout the whole entire world is dangerous. That's not what I'm saying. But if you watch the news in your own city, your own township, you will know if you live in a violent area. And if you live in a violent area, if you know things is getting out of control, then stay in your house. It's really easy and simple. If you want to live, you know, you stay in your house. If you want to live a long lasting life, stay inside your house. If you don't have money to move to the suburbs or into, you know, a better neighborhood or outside the country where there is possibly a place where you can go where it is much more safer. If you don't have money to do that. Like I just said, if you don't have money to do that. And if you live in the areas within the country where crime is going through the roof. Then stay in your house. You have to stay indoors. And that's the point of this video. Stay in your house. Buy some entertainment. Create entertainment. Go to sleep where you could enter dreamland. That's right. Go to sleep regularly where you can enter dreamland where hopefully your dreams is much more peaceful. Hopefully you don't have nightmares. But like I said, the point of this video is stay in your house. Avoid people. Yeah, there's some good people out there. But for the most part, avoid people. Stay to yourself and mind your business. Don't gossip. Mind your business. And I'm mostly focusing on the dangerous neighborhoods. Because if you live in a peaceful neighborhood where things is good, everyone gets along, strong families, strong community. If you live in those areas, then you should go out and mingle. You should go out and have fun and enjoy your life and interact with people and just build relationships. But like I just said, if you cannot do that, if you don't have you know the opportunity to move into those spaces if you don't have the money to move if you're stuck in the bad bad neighborhood common sense should tell you you need to stay in the house at all times and mind your business that's it